Mount Olympus is the highest mountain in Greece and the second highest mountain in the Balkans. It is located in the Olympus range on the border between Thessaly and Macedonia, between the regional units of Pyria and Larissa, about 80 kilometers southwest from Thessaloniki. Mount Olympus has 52 peaks, deep gorges, and exceptional biodiversity. The highest peak Mytikas, meaning nose, rises to 2,918 meters. It is one of the highest peaks in Europe in terms of topographic prominence. Olympus was notable in Greek mythology as the home of the Twelve Olympians on the Mytikas peak. Mount Olympus is also noted for its very rich flora with several species. It has been the first national park of Greece since 1938 and a world's biosphere reserve. Every year thousands of people visit Olympus to admire its nature, to tour its slopes, and reach its peaks. Organized mountain refuges and various mountaineering and climbing routes are available to visitors who want to explore its nature. The usual starting point for it is the town of Litikara, on the eastern foothills of the mountain, 100 kilometers from Thessaloniki, where, in the beginning of every summer, the Olympus Marathon terminates. Geography the shape of Olympus was formed by rain and wind, which produced an isolated tower almost 3,000 meters above the sea, which is only 18 kilometers away at Litikara. Olympus has many peaks and an almost circular shape. The mountain has a circumference of 150 kilometers, an average diameter of 26 kilometers, and 600 square kilometers of area. To the northwest lies the Vlach village of Kokinopalau. The Makwirima stream separates Olympus from the massif of Olgara. The villages Petra, Vronto and Dion lie to the northwest, while on the eastern side there is the town of Litikara, where Enipes bisects the massif of Olympus. On its southeastern side, the Ziliana Gorge divides Mount Olympus from Cato Olympus while on its southwestern foothills. There are the villages Sikaminia and Kaya, the Argias Triadis Spa Mau Monastery and the village Pythion lie to the west. Olympus are dry foothills are known as the Zirikampi, containing chaparral and small animals. Further east, the plain of Dion is fertile and watered by the streams that originate on Olympus. Geology Olympus is one of the relatively later mountains of Greece, as it is estimated that the age of its main rock formations is no more than 20 million years. When the greatest part of Greece was in the bottom of a shallow sea, where the main materials were deposited, that later formed the current rock formations. Various geological events that followed caused the emergence of the whole region and the sea. Around one million years ago glaciers covered Olympus and created its plateaus and depressions. With the temperature rise that followed, the ice was melted and the streams that were created swept away large quantities of crushed rock in the lowest places, forming the alluvial fans that spread out all over the region from the foothills of the mountain to the sea. Morphology The complicated geological past of the region is obvious on the morphology of Olympus and its national park. Features include deep gorges and dozens of smooth peaks, many of them in altitude of more than 2,000 meters, including Argios Antonios, Caligeros, Tumpa, and Prophet Asilius. However it is the central, almost vertical, rocky peaks that impress the visitor over Litikara, where the relief of the mountain displays on the horizon an apparent V between two peaks of almost equal height. In the left limb is Mytikas, Greece's highest peak, and on the right one Stefani, that presents the most impressive and steep peak of Olympus, with its last sharply rising 200 meters presenting the greatest challenge for climbers. Further south, Scolio completes an arc of about 200 degrees, with its steep slopes forming on the west side, like a wall. An impressive precipitous amphitheatrical cavity, 700 meters in depth and 1,000 meters in circumference, the Megalar Kazania.
On the east side of the high peaks the steep slopes form zone-like parallel folds, the zone area, even narrower and steeper scorings, the Lucia, lead to the peak, Omicron and the north side, between Stefani and Prophetasilius, extends the Moose's Plateau, at 2,550 meters, while further south. Almost in the center of the massif, extends the alpine tundra region of Bara, at an altitude of 2,350 meters. Olympus has numerous ravines and gullies. Most distinguishable of the ravines are those of Mavrolodros Enopes and Mavratsis Spamos near Bara and cut the massif in two oval portions. On the southern foothills the Great Gorge of Ziliana, 13 kilometers long, consists of a natural limit that separates the mountain from Lower Olympus. There are also many precipices in a number of caves, even nowadays unexplored. The form and layout of the rocks favor the emergence of numerous springs, mainly lower than 2,000 meters of small seasonal lakes and streams and of a small river, Enopes, with its springs in the site Pioneer and its estuary in the Aegean Sea. Etymology There are multiple theories for the origin of the name. Sky, bright, high, rock. One theory holds that Olympus is a pre-Hellenic toponym that simply means mountain. In Turkish, the mountain is known as Semivartiv, meaning heaven's house. Mythology in Greek mythology Olympus was the home of the twelve Olympian gods of the ancient Greek world. It is the setting of many Greek mythical stories. The twelve Olympian gods lived in the gorges, where there were also their palaces. Pantheon was their meeting place and theatre of their stormy discussions. The throne of Zeus hosted Solihim, the leader of the gods. From there he unleashed his thunderbolts, expressing his godly wrath. The twelve Olympians included also Hera, Hestia, Demeter, Poseidon, Athena, Apollo, Artemis, Hermes, Aphrodite, Ares and Hephaestus. Iota and Iliad Olympus is referred as great, long, brilliant and full of trees. In Peria, on Olympus' northern foot, the mythological tradition had placed the nine muses, patrons of the fine arts daughters of Zeus and the titanide Mnemosyne, Calliope, Cleo, Erito, Euterpe, Melpomene, Polyhymnia, Terpsichore, Thalia and Urania. History History of Olympus has been turbulent, as its surrounding area was not only a sacred shrine but also battlefield for the control of the access from Thessaly to Macedonia in ancient times. In the period of the Ottoman Empire the mountain had been a hiding place and base of operations of clefts and Armatolawa. In Olympus the second Armatoliki was founded, led by Kara Makalis in 1489. The action of the clefts in Olympus led the Turks to break out their outrage at the cleft Salai village of Malia, which they destroyed. In that period Levadi and Olympus became seat of the Armatoliki of Olympus and Western Macedonia, with his first renowned commander Panos Sidros. In the 18th century the Turks had to replace the Armatolawa with Muslim Albanian Armatolawa who ravaged the countryside of Macedonia. However Zalimpus or Armatolawa, even after their capitulation to Ali Pasha, never ceased fighting on land and at sea. Among them who were active there and in nearby regions are Nikotsaras, Georgikis Olympios and the legendary family of Lazywa. In the early 20th century, even for some time after the liberation from the Ottoman Empire, robbers activated in the region, best known of them the notorious Giagulash. While during the German invasion in 1941 the Greek army fought significant battles along with units of New Zealanders and Australians. During the German occupation the mountain was one of the centers of the Greek resistance, while a little later the Greek civil war started here, in Lytikara, climbing expeditions. Most probably ancient Greeks never tried to climb Olympus Apeaks Pantheon and the throne of Zeus which they considered to be the Twelve Olympians' home. But surely they reached the nearest peak, nowadays called Argios Antonios, from where they had a view of the two peaks and where they left offerings, as recent archaeological findings indicate. 
In the modern era, a series of explorers try to study the mountain and to reach, unsuccessfully, its summit. Examples include the French archaeologist Leon Husey, the German explorer Heinrich Barth, and the German engineer Edward Richter. Richter tried to reach the summit in 1911 but was abducted by Klefts, who also killed the Ottoman gendarmes that accompanied him. This was probably politically motivated, as the region was still under Ottoman control. It was just one year after the liberation of Greece from Ottoman rule, on 2 August 1913, that the until then untrodden summit of Olympus was finally reached. The Swiss Frédéric Boss honors and Daniel Bord Bovey, aided by a hunter of wild goats from Litokara, Christos Kakalos, were the first to reach Greece's highest peak. Kakalos, who had much experience climbing Olympus, was the first of the three to climb Mitakas. Afterwards until his death he was the official guide of Olympus. In 1921, he and Marcel Kurz reached the second highest summit of Olympus, Stefani. Based on these explorations, Kurz in 1923 edited Le Mont Olympe, a book that includes the first detailed map of the summits. In 1928, the painter Vasilis at Archesios climbed Olympus together with Kakalos, reaching a cave that he named Shelter of the Muses and he spent many summers painting views of the mountain. Olympus was later photographed and mapped in detail by others, and a series of successful climbings and winter ascents of the steepest summits in difficult weather conditions took place. Climbing Mount Olympus is a non-technical hike, except for the final section from the Scala summit to the Mitakas Peak, which is a YDS Class 3 rock scramble. It is estimated that 10,000 people climb Mount Olympus each year, most of them reaching only the Scalio summit. Most climbs of Mount Olympus start from the town of Litokara, which took the name City of Gods because of its location at the foot of the mountain. From there a road goes to Prionia, where the hike begins at the bottom of the mountain. Ancient and medieval sites, five kilometers away from the sea is Dion, sacred city of the ancient Macedons, dedicated to Zeus and the Twelve Olympians. Its prosperity lasted from the 5th century BC to the 5th century AD. The excavations, continuing since 1928, have revealed numerous findings of the Macedonian, the Hellenistic and the Roman period. Currently there is a unique archaeological park of 200 hectares, with the ancient town and the sacred places of worship, outside its walls. Many statues and other invaluable items are kept in the nearby Dion's Museum. Pimbolia and Levithra, two other towns in Olympus region, are related to Orpheus and the Orphic mysteries. According to a tradition Orpheus, son of Apollo and Calliope, taught here the mystic ceremonies of worship of Dionysus. By the sea, in a strategic position, at Macedonia's gates is located Platamon Castle, built between 7th and 10th century AD, in the ancient town of Heracli. Christian Monuments In Olympus a region there are also several Christian monuments, among them the highest altitude chapel of Orthodox Christianity, that of Prophet Asilius, in the same name summit. It was built in the 16th century by St. Inesios of Olympus, who also founded the most significant monastery in the region. The old monastery of Dionysios lies in Enopes Gorge and is accessible by a car from Litokara. It was looted and burned by the Ottomans and in 1943 it was destroyed by the German invaders, who suspected it was a guerrilla den. Nowadays it has been partially restored and operates as a dependency of the new monastery of Dionysios, that is outside Litokara. Close to the old monastery is also the chapel of birth in a wonderful scenery, in a cave with a spring, welling from a rock, where St. Dionysios lived at first as a monk, on Olympus' southern foot, in a dominant position in Ziliana Gorge, there is the Canalone Monastery, 8 kilometers away from Kaya. It was founded in 1864 and since 2001 it has been restored and operates as a convent. Further west, in the edge of Mavratsa stream, at 1,020 meters, there is the Agias Triad of Spa Mau Monastery, that flourished in the early 18th century. 
possessed great property and assisted to establish the famous Tsar at Sanoi school. It was abandoned in 1932, but in 2000 it was completely renovated and reopened as a male monastery, affiliated to Alasana's diocese. Climate Generally speaking Olympus a climate can be described as one of Mediterranean type with continental influence. Its local variations is the result of the impact of the sea and the rugged relief of the region. In the lower locations the climate is typically Mediterranean, i.e., hot and dry in the summer, while humid and cold in the winter. Higher it is more humid and severe, with more intense phenomena. In these locations it often snows all over the winter. While raining and snowing is not unusual, even in the summer, the temperature varies in the winter from minus 10 degrees Celsius to 10 degrees Celsius and in the summer from 0 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius, while winds are an almost everyday occurrence. Generally the temperature falls 1 degree Celsius per 200 meters of altitude. As the altitude rises, the phenomena are more intense and the variations of temperature and humidity are often sudden. Being more abundant in the first of them, hottest month is August, while coldest is February. The mountain's highest zone, over 2,000 meters, is snow-capped for about nine months. In some places the winds gather snow, 8 to 10 meters thick, while in some deep ravines the snow is maintained all over the year. For this Olympus alpine region, recordings have been made in the 1960s in the highest altitude weather station in Greece. That was established on the summit of Argios Antonios, providing a number of interesting data for the mountain's climate. Tau he average temperature is minus 5 degrees Celsius in winter and 10 degrees Celsius in summer. The average annual precipitation heights vary from 149 centimeters at Prinia to 170 centimeters at Argios Antonios. About half of them rainfall and hailstorms in summer and the rest snowfall in winter. The weather may change several times in the same day. In summer rainfalls are frequent, commonly as evening thunderstorms, many times accompanied by hail and strong winds. However water springs over 2,000 meters are scarce and visitors should ensure that they have always water and of course the necessary clothing for any weather conditions.